Okay, so one extremely important, important, sorry, not important. One extremely important protocol is the network time protocol to know and to implement network time protocol, the NTP, which is responsible for making all your devices, all the devices in your network synchronized together and have a correct word timing, global timing, not some specific local timing, but it's a word global timing because maybe your network is worldwide and you have routers multiple in multiple provinces, areas, states, countries or whatever. So you need some server that do distribute and synchronize time and date to all your devices. The big benefit of that is that when some error happens and you want to troubleshoot your network and see the message, you know that at Tuesday, maybe January 13th, and at the time exactly the clock of maybe hour 01, minute 30, and the second 7, OSPF was down and up rapidly. So we know that there is a, a, an OSPF flapping happening at that exact time. Maybe you'll you maybe you go to other side of the OSPF and see the same message or not. Maybe after that you'll find that just one minute before this happens or half a minute before that, someone has typed an incorrect command causing all of this. So this will make you know exactly the timing that the, an error or a message appeared or happened while you are troubleshooting. Of course, it will lead you to troubleshoot much faster by knowing what exactly happened at that time and caused my devices to behave this way. Something, then another thing, timing and synchronizing is very important between devices for even more realistic results and cooperating between the devices. So, NTP is the protocol responsible for timing and synchronizing between devices or give it precise information with real timing and date okay it's either by setting an inner clock manually this can be done no problem we can do that or by asking someone and by someone i mean an ntp server to inform us about timing ntp uses udp as a protocol with a port of one two three each network device, routers, each router can be either an NTP server or an NTP client. This is normal. It's okay because you can, like DHCP, make your device as an NTP server, like your router, create a clock by using the command of set clock inside your router and give a specific timing and date totally and after that make all the other routers connected to it so okay so this router in here is an NTP server and these also other routers in the same network and all connected the, together and these also are routers but these are NTP clients as simple as that okay we'll see the difference between the config whether I want to config one on as a network server and the other a client in the lab we will implement two routers same model same routers but we will like one of them an NTP server and the other one is an NTP client as simple as that so another thing you must know another term you will find only in the NTP protocol which is stratum Stratum means the source of the timing, the source that is provide, providing timing and calendar, whether this source was a real server, uh, a router behaving like an NTP server, maybe a worldwide global the company or service that is providing timing freely for all the world that I would take my time and synchronize my timing with this one like GPS as an example. Stratum is also available for multiple sources for the single device. What I mean by that is that I can make my network have multiple timing resources. Just in case one of them went down, I just go entire, automatically, NTP will redirect the NTP the timing requests automatically, automatically to another timing source. 
I can have about 16 stat stratum just I am showing it here okay and they will be preferred based on a number okay they have I can get up to 16 timing source at one time starting from stratum 0 reaching stratum 15 uh, the big important thing is that order organizing the stratum per order like making stratum 0 stratum 1 2 3 will decide which one is more preferred to depend on and which one is the other second preferred and the third preferred NTP server this is done by the stratum number stratum 0 is the highest preferred this is if there is a stratum 0 in your network then all your devices will look just to this server they will synchronize timing only with the server not when added with any other one if you have stratum 1 this will be second preferred stratum 2 or 3 etc in Cisco devices just in case you have created a server and a router and make it a, an NTP server this router make it an NTP server it will be negotiated to the other clients that this device is a stratum 8 so just in case there was any other stratum which is higher more preferred like stratum 7, 6, 5, 4 up to 0 when available in the network of course your devices your clients will negotiate or will synchronize with the most preferred not with this one with stratum of 8 but also stratum number is editable in the Cisco router so you can create a Cisco router and make it an NTP server with stratum number 5, 6 or and this way also another note that you must know about stratums stratum numbers are sorry stratum numbers are more preferred and in this case you will find the more preferred stratum number indicates a stratum NTP server an NTP server that is very close to me and it's much faster in responding like maybe just in case in your network you decided to operate two NTP servers two routers you made two routers behaving as an NTP servers the routers will look for the closest one as maybe stratum 4 and the for the further one as stratum 6 because it prefers the one closest because it doesn't want to jump very multiple hops just in order to reach the first one first NTP server and to synchronize between the clients and the server so the closest the more preferred the closest the better just as the slides mentioned in here okay so for NTP just we have talked about this is only the concept of NTP this is all of talking about it's only a network timing protocol it just provide timing to your network by synchronizing with a global server knowing or just create your inner clock inside it will be rarely to use an inner clock inside depend as long as your network is using internet and internet is provided of course you will set an inner clock but with the highest stratum like stratum 10 and leave it alone or stratum 8 but you can connect your network to a gps or to an atomic clock an atomic clock is some type of invention that gives you a precise timing the most at all in the universe it's a very expensive device to buy I believe it's two million dollar such thing I've heard such information and also uh, I believe it gives you stratum 1 and after that stratum 2 3 and 4 are available for you to connect like GPS and like some I believe also there are some NTP servers available and provided from NASA company so these are the global and well-known satellites and services that gives to the worldwide the same timing at the same time so if you have like 10 routers each one of them in a country all of them will have the same timing because maybe all of them is co are connected to the GPS so this is the benefit so whatever happens between all of them you know the behavior of all the 10 routers is recorded at the same timing and you can compare between them and know exactly the actions that are happening at the same second or moment that you want to check or troubleshoot at it so for the lab part Okay, so for the lab, for the pack tracer, we will have two routers. I will make one of them as an NTP server and the other one as the NTP client. So connect these together. 
uh, let's have a network between them which will be 10.10.10.0 slash 30 okay so for the first one no of course enable config terminal interface fast ethernet 00, zero. let's give it the IP address of 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 this way no shutdown and exit exit again now to make this one as an NTP server first we must specify a clock or set a clock manually and inner clock so clock set let's see this version requires hours colon minutes colon seconds so it's hour zero zero and minute maybe 10 with no other okay so the day of the month it's maybe 10 I do a space the month of the year we are in January and it's 2020 so now I have created an hour that will start syncing from now will it okay we have passed four seconds so far nine seconds etc you can see this no problem after that let's just specify an ntp master i can either specify it any number from 1 to 15 or leave it by default which will be ntp master 8 and let's go to the other one it's still down and it has no idea but it will sync once we make it an ntp client enable Configure T or config T interface fast Ethernet 00, zero. IP add of 10.10.10.2 .10 this way no shutdown good uh, let's do one thing to show clock okay it's something the default in all which is when it was operated and modified let's sync with the main one this will be done by configuring an NTP server and give it the IP address of the NTP server which is 10.10.10.1 we can specify a key for authentication this is not required for you I believe but you can authenticate this we will talk about authentication in the security chapter okay so specifying an NTP server should be enough let's see if this will solve it show clock no it did not yet if I am missing any command config t ntp mm, update calendar and still no for this one please show NTP associations there is one associated but it's not that one show NTP status the clock is synchronized as stratum 8 show clock it's the correct one that we have set no problem Okay, let's see if I'm missing anything. No, I'm not. I wonder why it's not syncing with it. Some fast forward. Show clock. Finally. But does it really take all that time? It's UDP connection. Okay, so right now my ntp client i did not set any clock in here i only set an ntp server which is this one where is it please the ntp server to get a reference of timing from this one and after that i also the other command is very important the ntp update calendar to update the calendar not only the hour 
okay to update the timing of the calendar which is this one Friday January 10th the 2020 okay without this one it will remain this way but it will only update the clock we come at hour 0 and minute 13 so this is how to configure the NTP master and client both of them are routers actually both of them are the same model the same devices but NTP can be configured either a master I'm sorry a server or a client in the devices if you have watched the DHCP videos the DHCP subchapter what I had at that time is that I have configured my router as a DHCP server and my end devices as a DHCP clients but also you can configure a router interface for DHCP client also you can make a router a DHCP client just in case it was connected to other router which is a DHCP server and this will automatically give an IP and a subnet mask to this interface of the router which is acting as a DHCP client so this is NTP as a concept and as a lab just in case anything was missing or incorrect or maybe not clear just please inform me down below comment in the video and I will do my best to clear it even more thank you for watching and hope to see you in the upcoming video goodbye